Hey race fans, it's Roger Curtis. I'm the president at Michigan International Speedway and I've got Brandon Nadowski from Pocono Raceway here for the 2012 presidential debate between the two of us, the great state of Michigan and the great state of Pennsylvania. And ironically, we're here in Florida. Here in Florida, sunny Florida. Beautiful, Beautiful. and this is the Sprint Fan Deck. So we're overlooking the NASCAR garages here at Daytona. And we've got some questions from the fans out there. We want to debate which track is best and what's going to happen this year. So Brandon, you got the questions. The questions. Who's your pick to win the 500? Uh, two picks okay. and a dark horse. Okay, you go first. I'm going to go with Jeff Gordon or Tony Stewart. Okay. My, my picks. I'm going with David Reagan. My wow, pick. okay. David, pretty fast out there this week. Okay. There are three departments that I will cut. Oh, I'm sorry, that's another debate. My fault. Uh, I'm gonna say Tony Stewart. Yeah. I gotta go with Junior. My dark horse, I'm gonna give you two dark horses. Okay. I'm gonna say Kurt Busch with his new ride and right Marcus back. Ambrose. Marcus right, good. I think it's I met, his chance. I met some guys from Australia down here this all week. All right, uh, okay. Guys, Dan Fowler, he flew it all from Australia this week. Oh my gosh, so, that's hey, crazy. We'll down this week. That's awesome. It was great. All right, so that's who we say is gonna win. So is there. Next. Choice for the championship. Yeah, I'm going to go way out on a limb yeah. here with a Michigan native. Okay. I'm going to say Brad Keselowski. Ooh, Brad Keselowski. Yeah. I'm going to go Philadelphia Eagles this year. <laughs> Good luck with that Thank one. You. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Next, actually, my pick this year be Kyle Busch. Ah. Kyle, he's uh, He's, he's turned the corner here. I think we're going to see some good things out of those cars. New focus. Yeah, All right. We'll see what happens. I'll make him my Department of uh, Secretary of Defense. I'll do something with him there. All right. If I win, the Okay. Breakout season for a driver. Uh, I'm going to say A.J. Allmendinger. He had a great season last year with Petty. Right on the edge of a couple victories. Now he's with Penske. He's got great equipment, solid sponsorship. The captain knows how to win these things. Brad had a breakout year last year, so I think it's AJ's turn. You won a Pocono as well. That's right. Good. There you go. I also wrote down Almond Dinger. Hey, all right, we agree on something. Wow, wait, we can't do that. Can Red and blue come together to make purple. <laughs> all right, next. All right, next question. The new team combo. You go first, sir. I'm going to go with Casey Kane and, and Hendrick Motorsports. Me as well. Uh, I think get back with Kenny Francis because he's a good things coming out of those guys this year. And, and we all know the Hendrick, the Hendrick Chevys are pretty good. I'm going to say that too. You know, Casey won the race last year, even with a team that they knew they were going to close up and they hung in there and they got the victory. So I think this is the breakout. I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. We're from different oh, parties? It's not, it's not what good. the heck? All right. All right. Going green. Let's have a little bit of green. You know, we got the solar. You guys are doing a lot of recycling and solar as well. And we're doing recycling. And you and I are leading the way. We are. That's our green this year. And our green this year. We're, we're at the let's, forefront. Let's talk a little about that. What do you guys are doing this year? No, I told you before, I've got solar panel in. You beat us on that one. Tell them about the solar panels, yeah. Oh, you know, you know Coconut Racing's got a three megawatt solar farm. We got 30,000 American made panels sitting on American made steel and American grown wood. And, uh, you know, even this year with our repaving project this year, we were using some sustainable That's fantastic. that as well. So. Our claim to fame, we do have some solar panels. They're on top of our new pit terrace suites. But our big thing is recycling. With all of our campers, we have the most tonnage of recycling of any NASCAR track and of any sports facility in Michigan. And I think for you and I, we've discovered that NASCAR fans, though they may not like the word environmentalist per se, they are conservationists. Conservation. And they love the outdoors, they love boating, hunting, Hunting, fishing, hiking, and we've got to protect the outdoors. No one wants to see a bunch of beer cans and trash out there, so we've got some great fans and we're just helping them out, and you're doing a great job with I'm the solar panels. How much you guys panel. recycle this year? Come on, fans, we got to beat that. How much oh you guys recycle this year? Oh my gosh. I don't know. It's like, it was like 30,000 pounds. Right, I don't we're gonna, know. We're going to beat that. We're going we're to take these guys down this year. At the end of the year, we'll look at all the numbers and we'll see who got the most the most recycling tonnage. All right, we'll, there's, we'll, the we'll, there's the challenge. There's the challenge. There's the challenge. So Fans at Michigan, we need your help. On, Recycle. Pull it together. We gotta beat these guys. Independence versus corporate guys. <laughs>
<laughs> so I meant <laughs> what? <laughs> I meant I mentioned track repa track repaving. Yes. You guys did a little, did a little repaving job. We tore the place apart and rebuilt the whole track from the ground up. So tell us about your little repaving job. Ours was not as deep down as yours. Right. We just did the top. You guys did a little earlier. Uh, a couple stuff. inches. Yep. Ours is done. I know yours is not. We're just almost done. We've been done a couple weeks here. March 19th, okay. we're scheduled to put the last two coats on. And, uh, you know, I talked about the sustainability part of it, and we use an iron slag from the blast furnaces as, as our aggregate. Do you source, really? the renewable source. And the funny thing is, Doc Mattioli, my grandfather, when he paid the place in 71, used the same the same stuff. So we didn't even know it was green back then. It's actually it's a, it's a green source. We didn't even know. Is it toxic? No, it's not. Okay. No, it, like that, no, no, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... I want to make sure you're staying green. We're That's staying all. Green. Okay. Yeah. All we right. We recycled all the old track and put seven miles of new roads throughout our infield wow. and all the old track. Well, we did our whole two mile oval and we did an infield road course as well. Okay. So we're going to have go karts out there and some other things in the infield. But it's going to be great because I think our speeds are going to be a little bit higher. Yep. But we've got variable banking and yep. we had it since 1968. Didn't even know it when they built the place. So I think that old adage of uh, new paving, it's, it's not going to be a good show because right. everyone will be on the bottom. I think we're going to have a great show. I think you guys will too. You will too. You know, you look back at when we put the patch in turn three and yep. all the drivers went off the old asphalt onto the new asphalt where they had more grip. So, you know, our, our asphalt mix has been pretty, pretty good like that. We're all seen the light. So we'll find out here in a few weeks when they get out for a test. Sorry, last okay. question is... Camping. What are we doing new for camping this year? You guys have big camping. We got a lot of camping. Let's talk, let's talk about what Michigan does. You have a whole website for your camping site. We do. I mean, we've got a massive amount of camping out there. Love all the fans that come out and spend all the week with us, all the races. we got a great big Canadian contingent, too, that comes out and camps with us. So thank you guys for coming across the border. Really appreciate that. It's just a blast. You know what it's like. It's a party. It's a party. It's a party into it. Mario, Mario Vitale came in a race a few years ago and he said it's Woodstock with a race breaking out. <laughs> it's a great time. I mean, everybody's having a good time. we got a good Canadian contingent as well coming down. We're only four hours from Buffalo. And That's Toronto, awesome. So we get a lot of fans from, from the east side of Ontario. You guys, they come over to the lake for you. But uh, Canadian fans are great. I mean, they're, they're some serious oh, diehard NASCAR fans are. in Canada. Now, do you go out in the campgrounds like I do? I hang do. out with I the do. fans? Yeah, have have a few drinks? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you've got to mingle with the fans. You know, you can't, you, you can't learn if we don't talk. That's right. And, you know, I tell fans all the time, don't hold back. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Tell me what's good, tell me what's bad, we'll make it better for you. So, you know, last year in our infield, we added, uh, you know, a lot more amenities for the infield, for the campers and some, some bands and stuff late at night. And everybody's having a good time this year. And like I said, we recycled the old track. So all of our roadways through the, through the infield now are all the old Fantastic. buildings the track. So no more sinking in the mud to get to your camp. There you spot. go. And we're, we're going to introduce bigger spots this year. Wow. So we increased the spots from 15 to 20 feet this year. For Makes me want to go to Pocono. Come over to Michigan. I will. We'll reciprocate. I will. All right, all right. See, the two sides can come together. We can. All right, we can do that. <laughs> and I'm Roger Curtis, and I approve this message. And I'm Brian Gowski, and I approve this message. But we need to sell some tickets to campsites too. So if you don't have your campsites and tickets to either place yet, for me, you can go to mispeedway.com or 800-354-1010. Or you can even follow me on Twitter at at M-I-S Roger. And you can just check us out at PokemonRaceway.com or give us a call at 1-800-RACEWAY and follow me at D-I-G-D-A-L-S-T-Y on Twitter. I follow you. Big Dowski. It's Big Dowski. I'm not like, you know. Not a little. Big, I'm a okay, big guy, big guy. But, it's, but it's Big Dowski. Okay. All right. Now we want all of you to come together like we have for NASCAR and support us. Support the races. We'll see you soon. See you guys soon. Thank you.